Hello, baby boss. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is uh, March 16 and 17. Baby boss, sun, moon, rising, and north node. Okay. If you have questions about getting a personal reading, check the description box. What you see is what you get. Everything is there. I promise. I promise. I promise. All right, baby boss. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. What are the messages? What's the message for you? All right. Okay, so these cards are coming out. Okay, so we have the page of we have the page of cups, we have the tower, we have the knight of wands, and then we have the sun card. So it looks like there's like an unexpected communication coming in. It could be from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I'm getting it's a very sweet message. It's a it's a um, you know, somebody's uh, like complimenting you or, or, or telling you something very sweet. It could be a poem, okay? But I'm getting somebody's like saying something to you maybe you're shocked by what this person is saying i am getting somebody is like like doing something they usually don't do but you whatever they do you're, you're you like what this person's saying what is the tower energy it looks like this is someone that you are dating but somebody could be asking you out or asking you to travel or to come see them i'm getting yeah i'm getting something is happening very unexpectedly okay i'm getting it's a little bit mind-blowing but you are happy here with the sun card whatever this Whatever this is, it is making you happy at the end of the day, though. All right, what is the Page of Cups? Okay, so we have the King of Wands and we have the Four, the four of Cups. Okay, so I'm getting somebody has made this offer before, but I'm getting somebody is approaching you differently. What is the Tower? Okay, we have the five of wands. So I'm getting, okay, so I'm getting somebody is like flirting with you or saying something to you that you don't like and then some type of fight breaks out or conflict. I'm getting a huge argument over what somebody says. So this could be very inappropriate what someone is saying. Okay, I'm getting to somebody always makes inappropriate comments or just has inappropriate behavior. Or they just do inappropriate things. Yeah, because I'm, I'm getting somebody is very sexually attracted to you. Somebody wants to go out with you. Somebody wants to date you, be with you, spend time with you. Like somebody is very excited and eager. Like I'm with the nine of with the knight of wands energy. Somebody somebody has a lot of energy or sexual. Like there's a lot of sexual energy coming towards you here. Okay, I'm getting you have a very sweet disposition, almost childlike. It's like very cute, very innocent with the page of cups. I'm getting this really turns someone on. Okay, I'm getting there's an age difference here too with you and someone else. All right, so that could be like a turn on for someone. This is your child. Be careful of this, of this, of this fire sign. But I'm getting this fire sign is you. All right. Yeah, I'm getting somebody who's very like sexually attracted to like your innocence or like your childlike qualities. Okay. And like somebody is very excited. <laughs> so, so I'm getting like, but I'm getting whatever this person is saying to you don't like. Okay, because like the tower, you know, there's, a, there's a conflict that breaks out or there's something that happens. It could be playful banter. Okay, what is the tower card again, please? But I'm getting it gets a little old, yeah, the, the world card. Yeah, so something, you're going to end something behind this. Okay, so I'm getting whatever this is, is getting old. This person always does this with the four cups, okay? I'm also getting two. Somebody wants to get back together with you. Somebody wants to go out for a second time. All right. So this could, this could be somebody, like just someone else that you're just dealing with, like on a whim. But I'm getting you are dating someone that makes you happy. This could be why you are annoyed. All right, so somebody, it's like you're, in, you're ending something, you're ending communication, or you're ending the way you communicate with someone because you're dating someone new, I'm getting. Or there's something new happening here. What is the sun card? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so it's like somebody's been tormenting you or harassing you with the Nine of Swords. Okay, somebody could be keeping you up at night. But this is like, okay, let me, give me one more card for this combination, please. Okay, so yeah, it's almost like you want to free yourself from this person. I'm getting you're, you're dating someone, but you feel trapped. You feel smothered. Okay. I'm getting you are going, you're going to try, you're going to attempt to end something or you're going to attempt to set some type of boundaries with this person. 
What's the Four of Cups? I'm getting you have tried before, but your approach may be a little bit too sweet or passive aggressive. What's the Four of Cups? Okay, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so this could be somebody who's very sexually attract attracted to you, very eager to have sex. Someone who's touchy-feely, rom very romantic, very affectionate. Okay, so this, this may be a little much for you because I'm getting like, Okay, what is, because I'm getting like something is ending very quickly or something is ending abruptly or surprisingly or like, okay, I'm getting your, I'm getting this is you saying something to this person or whatever this is. Okay, what is the tower card, one more card? Yeah, because I'm getting you want to free yourself. You feel trapped, you feel bound to this person for some reason. I'm getting somebody is smothering you with affection or attention or like just a lot of sexual like energy, some, the way somebody is coming at you. Okay, this could be somebody at your workplace. I'm not getting like any, I'm not getting any area of life like work or school or home or anything. Now, you could be out actually out with this person and this could be happening while you guys are out. Maybe somebody is, um, it's PDA. Okay, maybe you don't like public displays of affection and somebody's very affectionate. Okay, somebody's like, Okay, let's see, what's the tower card? It's like somebody wants to be known, like, some, it's like, I don't know. Okay, we have this trend card, yes. Yeah, so, so you're trying to resist this. You're trying to resist this sexual energy or whatever this is, okay? But I'm getting you're going to end up blowing up. I'm getting you're reaching your breaking point. <laughs> okay, what is, so I'm getting it's, it's taking a lot for you to like, you know, be nice and be calm and be sweet to this person. Yeah, the 10 of wands, but I'm getting you're, you're, you're about to crack here. Yeah, someone's going to crack. Someone's going to explode. I'm getting this. It's like a public scene. Okay, what's the Ten of Wands? Yeah, somebody has a lot on their plate. I'm getting you're very busy. You're, you're very stressed out. It's like you're It's like you're overwhelmed in a situation. It's like you almost feel like trapped, or like you can't do anything or you can't move. It's like you, it's like it's, there's not much you can do. Like, okay, what's the Ten of Wands? I'm not really sure what kind of situation you're in here. So this could be a colleague or just... Like somebody you're dating, but I'm really not sure why you feel trapped to this person or obligated or worried. Okay, what's the Ten of Wands? Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some type of shift happen. So I'm so I'm getting it's about timing, it's about your fortune. Something happened. So this could this could have been a tower moment that kind of forced you into the arms of this person, or it kind of forced you to be around this person or to work with them, or something like that. So I'm getting, I'm getting your fortune changed or something shifted in your life or in their life to where you guys have to be together or it's, it's like a series of events brought you these two, brought you close to this person or around this person with the will of fortune. It's like you guys, the two paths are crossing or meeting for some reason. Okay. So you kind of feel like you have to do something. What's the will of fortune, please? It's like, it's not the right time to move. You feel like the seven of pentacles. Interesting. So it's like you're looking back. It's like time, I'm hearing time after time. So it's like something keeps happening. I'm also getting two on a larger scale. You keep attracting the same type of person or the same situation. Or this is what you are feeling like. You feel, you feel like you can't put down your burdens. It's like something you just keep, you keep getting trapped to, to this person or to these type of people. Are these type of relationships? Because I'm with the four of cups, it's like the same offer over and over again. Something keeps happening. Something's repetitive. Okay, what's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, the four of wands. So this could be about this could be about housing or your stability, a housing situation, just being stable all together. I'm also getting to you're waiting for someone to like someone is looking into your background or looking things over about a house. This could be you. You're looking at homes or uh, viewing homes, reviewing homes, reviewing your pack. You could this could be also to your rental history. Someone's looking at this, so this could be a burden on you. Just waiting for someone to get back to you, waiting on the right time. And I, I'm, I'm getting also to you're thinking of like when's the right time to move or when will be the when will I have the stability? Okay. One more card. So this could be this could be a reason why you're staying with someone or why you feel trapped because there is stability here. You could like you could like where you live or this person's home or you know something about the situation is stable. So I'm getting it's more so about the home itself, the actual structure. 
So that's what's that's what's stable. Like your your housing is stable. You know, you want you don't want to get you don't you want that stability, or you're waiting for the right time. Okay, give me the, one more card. What's the four of wands, please? So this it's like it's like you it's like you're kind of dependent on something here. I'm getting it's the stability or the home. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Yeah, so it's like you love. It's it's like this is what you're wanting, but I'm getting there is love here as well. It's almost like you're, you're feeling overwhelmed with like, because I'm getting this is like good energy, the four of wands and the king of cups. There's like someone here that loves you or this could be, you know, it's like you're looking back on this. Okay, the moon card. So it could be a Cancerian that you're dealing with or a Pisces. So this could be past energy actually, yeah. So I'm getting something ended abruptly or this could be like in the recent past, maybe like last week, two weeks ago. I'm getting relocation or you had to move with someone. What's the, uh, what is the four of wands? Okay, we have the four of swords. Yeah, it's like you have to take a break or you have to crash. Yeah, so it's like, it's like something is being stopped. We have 44 here, but that's stability though. Yeah, so I'm getting like you're, you have to take a break or you're, you're, you feel like you're being slowed down or something is not, the timing is not right or something is not going in your favor. Okay, you feel overwhelmed, all right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting like there's no action being taken here about, about something. It's like you're taking a break on these homes or looking for them. Okay, it's, it's, like, it's like you're feeling, you keep looking at the past or reviewing your past, like thinking why this keeps happening. All right. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm getting it's there's a situation that you're in here that you're kind of stuck to because it's stable, because you, you feel like you're obligated, because you feel like you have to. All right. I'm getting to it could be because of a lease or you have, you know, you have joint uh, bills with someone else. So you can't just leave. You can't just walk away from a situation because you have built something here with this person. So it's, it's like you're stuck to a situation that you're wanting to end. So that, that's really all I'm getting here. Okay, so I hope this helps you. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Okay, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.